We played the five color bring to like Kiki deck on stream. It's very sweet. Felt really powerful and was a lot of fun. Panglacial Worm's a hoot of a card. That is the correct Sigarda. That Sigarda makes it so your Storm opponent can't cast Gifts on given against you. That Sigarda will very soon be replaced by the new Legendary Angel that they spoiled out of the new set, which is exciting. Delver is bad in Modern because the cantrips in Modern are bad, and there's just more efficient things to be doing like Death Shadow. The reason why Delver is very good in Legacy is a mixture of powerful cantrips and free counter spells. Seems decent. I really enjoyed all of my math courses. That's why I have a math degree. Reflector Mage. I'm going to bottom that. I really wish I knew what they were playing. I think I'm going to hedge and bottom that. I think there's enough decks in Modern that that's not good enough that I'd like to bottom it and dig for lands. There's a Legendary Angel that they spoiled today that's a 3-4 flyer for 4 that gives you, your Planeswalkers, and other creatures Hexproof. And you can pay 6 mana to put a 1-1 counter on every one of your creatures or something like that. I'd probably main board the Angel in this deck. I'd probably main board the Angel in this deck. It's unfortunate that... Four mana, three white, three and a white. Very castable too. It's unfortunate that we have our Horizon Canopy against what appears to be Burn. I guess they could be Mardu Pyro. Oh, it's Burn. We're dead. I don't think the Burn matchup is terrible on average with this deck, but we're certainly dead here because we stumbled and died in addition to taking a lot of damage from our mana. Get some Obstinate Baloths post board, which is great. Unified Will is also okay. Slime is clunky. This is clunky. This is clunky. This is clunky. Teague is clunky. Do this. I haven't seen the fairy. Oh, Sigarda. Yep. Woo! It's almost a boo boo, chat. Almost a boo boo. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did see that listed. Fairies didn't 6 2 the mox. Shouta 6 2 the mox. Sh Shouta 6 2 the mox. It's, that's an important distinction, chat. Is an important distinction. Hey, Chalupa56 with that brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much and welcome. Thanks for putting your Amazon fun money towards my channel this month. There's a lot of great streamers out there, so thanks for picking here to send your stuff. If they bolt the bird here, we get to go basic planes and a voice of resurgence. Just curve out very naturally. Goblin guide. The bird on top of my deck's not really what we're looking for. Since they didn't kill my bird, I'm going to go tap land into voice here. I guess maybe I should go planes into bird voice. I don't know, getting the tap land out is really good, but like having this in place probably better. Yeah, it's probably a small sequencing mistake. World-class magic player batted 75% against worst magic players with some par magic deck. Yes, I would buy. That's a headline I would believe is true.
Is a hot dog a sandwich? I believe by legal definition, a hot dog is a sandwich. I believe the legal definition of a sandwich includes, is, includes a hot dog. So our good draws at this point are Felidar Guardian, Oath of Nyssa, Eldritch Evolution, Obstinate Baloths, uh, Thrag Tusk. Um, Thrag Tusk is actually a big deal, or it's a Garda, is a big deal why I didn't play the bird yet. They could also have an Eidolon here. If I would have played the bird out, my bird would have made this elemental be able to eat this goblin guy too, which is a big deal. They just didn't offer the trade. Well, that's good for us. All right. Um, land. Sahili. The NHDSC. <laughs> All right, let's scry myself a river here. I wonder if they have another Searing Blaze and that's why they didn't offer this trade here. Definitely just gonna scry here. Opponent's health total is nowhere near low enough to try and get frisky with these elementals. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited to play with the new the new four mana fairy. I think that's my favorite card to come out of the new set so far. That card is great. We are gonna keep that one right on top. That one's gonna crack my fetch land and then rally back this voice next turn. If they Searing Blaze my Elemental and attack with the Goblin Guide, I'm probably gonna Chump Block with the Bird. Yeah, see, it felt like a second Searing Blaze since they didn't attack last turn. I wonder if they're gonna redirect to Saheeli or not here. Yeah. I guess if they double punch the Sahili here, I'm just let the, I'll let them through. Yeah, wow. So Sahili gained us seven health, which seems quite excellent for us. So I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna crack this fetch land to trigger revolt. I'm going to get a basic forest here. I'm gonna play Renegade Rallyer, get back Voice of Resurgence. I'm gonna play Saheeli, down tick targeting Renegade Rallyer, get back a fetch land. Nah, that's probably loose. I'm gonna play Saheeli and plus it actually. Yeah, I think I'd rather just scry and have this at four. I'm gonna bottom that just in case they don't attack with the Goblin Guide this turn. Like with the voice in play, there's a chance they don't attack. That's scary. Did I say new fairy? I meant new angel. Felidar, evolution, thing that gains health. All right, trade, trade. This makes evolution worse, but they have the Grim Lava Mancer out anyways. Reflector Mage, well, that's quite excellent. Hey, SB Gonins with the brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much and welcome. I do appreciate that. As always, subscriptions are the best way you can support what I do here. Um, this is just like Reflector Mage or Lava Mancer, Sahili Downtick, Reflector Mage or Monastery Swiss Spear, Crack you for seven. Seems like that seems pretty game winning. They're at zero cards in hand. We're at nine. We're gonna win this game without gaining any health. That's so weird. Usually, I don't think burn's a bad matchup, but usually you gain some health when you win. Yes, yeah, so we get to crack them with seven and have a two three left over. Yeah, opponent's not enough. All right, on the draw can be a little bit tricky, but if they miss a beat, 
or if they have a creature especially creature based draw will be okay again looking for fast obstinate bailoth fast drag toss fast combo fast combo doesn't always work out because their burn spells interact with it most of their burn spells interact with it I kept seven. I don't think I can keep this. The Court of Calling is exceptionally slow. Our mana base is pretty painful. So I'm gonna go ahead and mulligan this. I think the fact that the mana hurts me as much as it does is the reason to mulligan. That's a keeper. Yeah, they were pretty proactive about killing my creatures. This hand is definitely much better than the first one. I concur with that assessment. Var. I think it's the best combo deck in the current format. I don't know if I have a good answer to that question. Does Hollowed One count as a combo deck? If, if I'm allowed to count Hollowed One as a combo deck, then Hollowed One. If I'm not allowed to count Hollowed One as a combo deck, I'd have to think about it and get back to you. Looking for a voice or a land here. Okay, so what happens when I get voice and a land? I guess I'm just taking the land, right? Yeah, Ad Nauseam felt pretty reasonable. Crystal Brand's okay. I don't know that I'd count that as one of the better decks in the format, though. I think it's powerful. I think it's playable. But best combo deck, I don't think I'd give it that title. Gross. They have a Searing Blaze. We're probably dead here. Storm is a pretty bad magic deck. Its results are consistently mediocre. I should save John Finkel's tweet saying Storm is bad. I need to go find that and bookmark it. I need to go find that and bookmark it. Summoner's Egg. Yes, definitely Summoner's Egg. 10 out of 10 wannabe beetle. Hope everybody's having a good evening. Hanging out, playing some modern tonight. Playing some Cobra Sahili. We'll see where the night takes us after this. If Finkel isn't playing Storm, no, God bless. They ain't that the truth. <laughs> we have cashed a competitive league with with summoners like no i'm willing to admit when i'm wrong i'm willing to admit when i'm wrong storm is fine tron tron i stand by tron lands and fast mana being being offensive in modern but storm is fine my assessment that storm was not fine was incorrect and i rescind it is that because that's what you can do when you're an adult you can admit when you're wrong That's good. That means I don't have Searing Blaze at least. <sighs> yep. Taking nine down to six here. I I would prefer that. I would much rather ponder Preordain or Legal rather than Storm be a deck. That's definitely true. Yeah, I think we're just going to die here. They have a Rift Bolt suspended. I'm going to... 5 to do this. 
Yeah, it's very, very good. We talked about that a little bit earlier. Well, I mean, the good news is if they have a bunch of bricks, we can maybe steal this. They need like land in hand, land on top of their deck. Plus we need to draw land, but there's a, there's a build ourselves to victory route here. You just you usually just can't beat burn when you, when you don't do anything impactful on the first turn of the game, like playing Oath of Nissa doesn't count as playing a significantly impactful card. Yep, good game's opponent. It's a tough, tough match to win on the draw for sure. Need them, usually need them to stumble or to miss a little bit for you to have time to like get your cards like Oops and Bail Off. Or you're just gonna die with a bunch of expensive cards in your hand. These decks are, these creature combo decks are, are a little bit clunky when they don't get a chance to get going. They're very powerful when they do get going, but definitely decks like Burn are efficient and get under them. play first yeah it sounds fine not super exciting but fine got a reasonable curve if our opponents playing storm we're probably dead yeah, it's not strictly true i've got a coordinate creature I've got a teague in our main deck all right what do we got renegade rallyer sounds great Remember, Renegade Rally is not only a threat, but it's also effectively a ramp spell alongside our fetch lands. So we'll go voice on two into crack fetch rally or get back a land on three. Humans. I don't think his matchup is terrible. We can definitely we can definitely get clunked up though, like I said. As the as the game goes games go along, we're generally favored though. If they only make this a 2-2, two -two, I'll trade. Now it's stacking as at least a 3-3. Three -three. That's unfortunate. Stacking as a 5-5. Five -five. Gross. If I didn't need to hit land so badly, I'd have chump blocked there. And then gotten back my voice, but this I really need this rallier to be a ramp spell, so that's what it's going to be. And this turn, this will get the chump block for more than five, most likely. So Although I guess if they play a Mantis Rider and attack in the sky, we're, we're chump blocking for less than five. It's gonna be a reflector mage. That's really gross. Lantern's a prison deck. Seven. Grab a temple garden here. Oh, these flooded trains should probably be Misty Rainforest. Yeah, because they can't get... I would like to get Stomping Ground here, but I can't. Oh, I should have gotten Breeding Pool, so I had blue mana. I want to turn you into Mr. Renegade Rallier. Might just be Angel of Sanctions here. I guess I could get Thrag Tusk, and then we can start to Healing Ring Thrag Tusk. So I can get anything from this column here. Obviously, we can get Teague too, but he doesn't really do anything. No, I don't think so. I think, that, I think that card's really clunky and awkward. I tested with it and it wasn't particularly impressive. I actually 
actually don't think that's true, Karf. I don't think Lantern enables or like does anything healthy for the format. I think decks that generate miserable gameplay in general are just miserable. And Lantern like certainly generates miserable gameplay. How do I how do I live through this combat step by getting getting Felidar Guardian though? I can't replay this voice, so I can't just like untap my land. That's not good enough. P and Kirin buy some time with chumps. I like that line. I like getting P and Kirin Alar. That seems reasonable. Yeah, I kinda like that. This technically blocks longer than Thrag Tusk. Thrag Tusk is better with Sahili though. Maybe I was supposed to get Thrag Tusk because I could Sahili the Tusk next turn. I could see that going either way. The problem with Angel of Sanctions is that if I Angel of Sanctions this, Angel of Sanctions can't block Reflector Mage next turn because of the double Exalted. If we draw an untapped land next turn, we can actually combo our opponent. We can Eldritch Evolution Pia into a Felidar Guardian, untapped a land, and cast Sahili. Please bounce a token. Yeah, ding, sweet. All right, here's hoping. Chump block with a Thopter here. Good attack on their part. All right, so we need an untapped land here, and then we can kill them. It's not going to do it. We have Oath of Nissa in play, chat. We have Oath of Nissa in play. Oath of Nissa has text. I know it's weird. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Like I said, not terrible, but real clunky for us. Post board, post board, we'd be able to have been in pretty good spot because we could have. You can't can't copy legendary cards with with Sahili. Oh, you can actually create token that's copy target artifact creature. You control. Oh, weird. Okay, I'm dumb. I don't actually know what my card does. I'm dumb. That's Kiki. That says non legendary. You are totally right. Keep the OG one. Are we still dead? I guess we could maybe survive and combo them. We're dead to any interaction, right? We're dead to mage, we're dead to mantis rider. If they have nothing, we get another turn. If they have nothing, we get another turn and we could go voice into evolution. If we had like a basic or a green fetch. We would have died in combat, so no. If we would have gotten fell at our last turn, we, we would have be sideboarding right now. We wouldn't have won the game. I like this slide from the opponent. Just like putting us under pressure. So now the land has to be explicitly a basic or a horizon canopy or a green fetch and then we can kill them next turn so we get to play this and evolution into this but shock lands won't do it because we're going to two mage named felidar guardian yep yep oh, mentally mage would not prevent the eldritch evolution Needed, needed a green source there. Yeah, it's come up for a while. Baloth's okay here. Sigurd is... Uh, I have Angel to block flyers. Cataclysmic Gear Hulk is the stones here. Engineered Explosives is quite excellent. Got a Teague doesn't do much. Else do I want to trim? Court of Calling's pretty slow. 
Need one more cut here. Probably don't need Thrag Tusk if I have Obstinate Bailoth. Let's do this. I guess this deck doesn't... Actually, I'm going to keep Thrag Tusk and cut Etern Eternal Witness. We don't have Eternal... We don't have removal to Eternal Witness for, which makes Eternal Witness worse here. Court of Calling requires three green skip dash. Court of Calling requires three green. So, you're right. Had had we, if we had the option to play Court of Calling, we would have there. But we did. We we're unable to cast it because it requires three green. Only had a single green. Setacaster's like, okay. Maybe it's fine. I guess we can copy it. All right, yeah, I'd buy that. One static caster is not very good. It, it picks off phantasmal images nicely, but the fact that we can copy it kind of gives it a little bit extra legs. It can help us finish things off inside of combat. Yeah, the fact that they have some images is probably fine. I'm a dirty elves player, so I forgot about that. Witness for EE is really slow and clunky. I just think we have enough clunk in our deck that I don't want that. Yeah, High Arc just isn't a card you particularly care about most of the time. So I don't think it's worth mentioning. And like some really bad situations or, or, or like convoluted or corner case situations you will sometimes snag champions and thalia's lieutenants but like in situations where static caster is killing those cards you usually don't care about them for the record if your deck has one mana removal and if you have path to exile or lightning bolt or lightning helix i think witness is a very good card against these creature based decks like humans but context matters and because our deck doesn't have efficient removal eternal witness becomes much worse yeah witness witness is good if you have efficient removal to pair it with it's dope do the kids still say dope can i say that You're not a kid. You can. I gotta. I'm trying to reach the younger audience. I'm trying to. Trying to extend. What's the next generation called after millennials? Is it Gen X? Is that. Is that what we're calling them? You gotta reach. Reach out to the Gen Xers in the audience. Dope as soap. I like it. Get down with the fat rhyme. Well, I'm glad we boarded in Static Caster. Let's attack first. Gen X is before Millennials. Gen X is before. See, I have no idea. That's why. That's why I asked. Pew 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 pew. pew, pew. Fire in laser. Is this a concession static caster? It's feeling like it's probably pretty close to a concession static caster, right? You're going to Reflector Mage, my Static Caster, or my Elemental? That's the real question. For a little ever since Pilgrim, never stood a chance. It's a hard, brutal life down here.
Rally my people. Rally my people, Renegade Rallyer. Kind of confused why we're still playing Magic. Santa Caster. Santa Caster won this game nicely. I'm not going to cast that just yet, I don't think. You might. I can just smash them for five. Yeah, I'm a liar. I'm just going to cast that. I guess if they have another Reflector Mage casting the Angel of Sanctions, there's a little medium. It's really good against Mantis Rider, though. Angel of Sanctions is this brawl. This is an interesting question. I'm definitely not casting this this game, right? I'm not gonna show them that we have it. I'm not gonna show them that we have it. That is not a card I want them to play around. Hey, Rod Trav, with the brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much and welcome, I do appreciate that. As always, subscriptions are the best way you can support what I do here, so thank you for helping me do what I do every day. These aren't Yu-Gi-Oh cards, they're full art magic cards. Come on now. Uh, uh Gear Hulk. We had Catac it was Cataclysmic Gear Hulk two lands. And I was like, alright. Alright, we're not gonna show him Cataclysmic Gear Hulk. This is this is our ketchup card. This is our it ain't a mustard card. It's a little bit it looks like mustard, but it's actually ketchup. Looks like, looks like mustard, but it's actually ketchup. So in Brawl, do we just get to play Sahili and then put Felidar in our deck? So as soon as we draw Felidar, we combo them? Thanks for bringing it up tonight, Rod Trav. Thanks for being a sub. Banned cards are still banned. Oh man. Honestly, I could see an argument for even boarding in Sigarda Heron's Grace here, just as a four or five flyer. Like, well-statted flying creatures are very good against humans. One of the reasons why the humans deck is so good is because Mantis Rider is well positioned in modern against the creatures that see play. This hand is really slow, but it has Oath of Nyssa on the draw. So we get five looks at a two drop here. So I'm going to keep this because if we find like a Lotus Cobra, the hand's actually kind of insane, right? Even, even voice makes it fine. Like, not exciting, but fine. Well, we've got some Renegade Ralliers. Now, <laughs> if we find a Cobra, turn, turn three is going to be good if we find a Cobra next turn. Uh, Noble Hierarch and um, what's it called? Cavern of Souls are both very expensive in the human stack. Pfft. 
We might be dead, fam. We might be dead. And being reminded what playing a deck full of three and four and five mana cards in modern feels like. It's not, it's not a good scene, chat. It's not a good scene. Do they not have anything here? Are they passing? Is this like no land pass? Holy crap, we have a chance. I have a stomping ground in my deck, right? That, that's everything I want out of life. Uh, definitely, definitely in for an obstinate bailout here. I'm gonna wait here because if they play a Thalia's Lieutenant pre-combat, we can shoot them both. Third land is terrifying, just dead to a Mantis Rider effectively. Yep. Needed them to miss one more turn here. Why should I not have fetched? Oh, because I could have induced a mistake. Yeah, I changed my line halfway through as the issue. So we're going to one. Did I do another snake. Let's say Reflector Mage or Mad Strider. Okay. Dismember. You can opponent. Playing, what are we playing? Uh, what are we playing as our fourth deck tonight? I think I need something light and funny. I think we're gonna play the Lightning Company deck. I think, I think spinning, spinning some wheels sounds great after this afternoon, this evening. We started off so strong with the eggs deck too. Started off so strong with the eggs deck. Let the ticket look it's kind of cold in illinois still we haven't fully hit spring weather so like burning the tickets is keeping me warm taking turns is a really mediocre magic deck we've played taking turns on more than one occasion and every time we play it i walk away going eh I don't have the mental capacity right now, Bob, to think about making changes to that deck. It's a good hand. Your Birds of Paradise deck is much better. Much better when you have Birds of Paradise in your opener, believe it or not. Got a snake, too. I should play Bogles. Look, there's a list of things that we pick from. When I say we need to figure out what we play next, I mean I'm opening the donation queue and looking at the list of things that are towards the top and finding one that looks funny. 
I don't always play the one at the very top, but usually something in the top half gets picked when I look for something else at the end. Oh man. Think we're dead, chat. Think we're dead. Gave it the old college best here. Depends on how linear their hand is, right? Uh, yeah, details on how to get into the donation queue right there are that link, bit.ly forward slash Hugo Salad is everything outlined there and if you ever have any questions on specifics about how the queue works feel free to message me in private i'm always happy to give feedback on that the lightning tribal deck does look like a hoot we're gonna finish this league we're 2 every modern deck's a 3-2 deck though so we could definitely rally this back could definitely rally this back i'm gonna play until we're done i do enjoy playing decks like this you do get run out of some games of magic but there's plenty that you do get to play good good clean interactive interesting games these decks, when they do actually play and don't get run out, they generate some of the sweetest games of Magic possible, in my opinion. I mean, Sun Titan doesn't even really do anything here, right? We have a pretty quick clock. They're at 16, they're dead in two. Lotus Cobra's letting us go wide really quick here, which is nice. Maybe I should have gotten red mana for PN Kieran Nullar there. Very possible. Bum ba dum ba dum. Ba -da 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 there are a lot of sweet decks in the queue. A Scott Argon 21 with the brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I do appreciate that. Thank you for helping support what I do here. What's going on, Eaton Tortoise? Grove Warden. What are you playing with Grove Warden? Just momentum? What is he playing that Grove Warden is good against? I guess is the better question. All right. Just good, good, honest beats there. Good, honest beats prevailing. Avalanche Riders and Glenn in Unified Will in Rex Sage in... Teague doesn't have text in this matchup, right? Teague doesn't have text in this matchup. Thrag Tusk isn't very good. I don't think Angel of Sanctions is good. I think Our Titan is too slow. I think Reflector Mage is bad. I guess taking Azusa off the table is pretty good. Oh, P and Kieran Alar were okay there, but we actually don't really want them in this matchup. Sometimes they have EE. That's fair. I don't think I want him for that reason. I don't think he's better than any of these. Teague only stops non-creature spells, chat, so he does not stop Titan. I think I'm going to submit like this. Eidolon is kind of cute because it prevents them from pacting and tightening in the same turn. Teague does not stop packs, chat. Like a year ago, I literally spent 12 hours playing Owling Mine on Sunday. This past Sunday. So look, look again. Look on YouTube. I'm going to click submit. I'm going to run to the restroom really quick. I'll be right back.
This hand has a turn three acidic slime. Turn two acidic slime? Turn two acidic slime. This hand is the stones. This hand is... Mmm. 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 If you're wondering why, like, the, this deck looks kind of miserable so far. This hand is sweet. This hand is sweet. Anomaly 7... 98, 80, 98, yep, yeah. with the Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much and welcome for the sub. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the Lotus Cobra powered show. Please play a bounce land next turn. Please play a bounce land next turn. Please play a bounce land next turn. Tilt. They're on to us, chat. They knew the slime was coming. Rallyers, more fun legacy or could regrow wasteland. I think I still just slime them off a of land, right? They might just not have a bounce land, chat. They could just not have a bounce land, okay? I'm really sad. This turn three Lotus Cope, this turn three Acidic Slime's only gonna kill one land instead of two. It's a damn shame. Always yes, always yield. Kill the amulet? Alright, fine. Fine, I'll kill the amulet. You're probably right. Should I... I brought in Rex Sage, right? Yeah. Should I Rex Sage the amulet then? I think I should Rex Sage the amulet, right? Well, I'm going to have Avalanche Riders next turn, chat. I'm going to have Avalanche Riders next turn. So am I getting, am I killing the amulet or am I killing their, I think I'm going to kill the amulet. I think I'm just going to go get Rex Sage and kill the amulet. If they would have played a girl turf, I would have definitely killed their land, but I think I think Chet, the person that suggests their deck is kind of slow and clunky without without amulet is correct. This like this like puts seven power in play and like puts them down an amulet. If I didn't have this stone rain, maybe I'd be a little incentivized to just like kill more lands, but like with a stone rain in hand still, I think this is fine for us. Sure. There's no harmonic sliver over reclamation sage because what's the word I'm searching for? Um, well, now that they did that, I'm going to shock this in make blue cast Glenelendra. I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for one of these before I stone rain them. I think if they want to trade their ramp guy for my ramp guy at this point, I'm fine with that. I'm not playing the harmonic sliver because copying it is kind of narrow and the second power is important and casting with white man is a real drawback. So there are upsides to harmonic sliver over over reclamation sage but i feel like a lot of people just like undervalue oh i guess with this in play i can't actually kill a lot of their lands right because if they have another bounce land they just get to protect it 
and I'm under a pretty quick clock here. Killing the land just puts them behind a turn though, which is nice. You could, the upside to Harmonic Sliver is that when you Sahili the Harmonic Sliver, the new Harmonic Sliver kills two things. That's the upside to Harmonic Sliver. Because the new Harmonic Sliver sees the original Harmonic Sliver and they both trigger. The second line of text isn't good enough and you want to kill enchantments is basically what it comes down to. Yeah, but like if they bounce this bounce land with another bounce land from the scout, like they're still behind on tempo and we have them on a really quick clock here, right? And like they can't sneak an amulet into play because I have this Glenelendra Arc Mage. So like this is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They're going to 2. And like even Azusa here, like we don't really care, right? Like sure, play your lands. It looks like we just got to aggro them out here. Aggro! You'll win more games with this deck as a mediocre beatdown deck than you will through comboing a lot of the time. You will steal backdoor into some games with combo kills, but a lot of the times this deck is just an aggressive beatdown deck. Yeah, definitely. If they pass back to us, I'm paying the echo cost and leaving breeding pull up for Glenelendra. Yeah, they can certainly give it their college best here. Like, they get to bounce the Radiant Fountain, and they get to put it back into play with the Tribe Scout and gain two more, but we're still pretty far ahead here, right? Especially with Glenelendra in play. This is the first time I've ever paid for Echo on this Avalanche Riders. It might be. This might be the first time I've ever paid for Echo on this card. A space, smash face. They get to go block, block, gain two, take six. Yeah, so just a lethal. Anemic, they are. They really are. Decks with a crappy beatdown plan as a secondary are my are my specialty. I think this deck's okay against Ponza on average. It looks like our mana base is doing a lot, but you have to remember the core of this deck is just green white. And one of our splashes is red, so you get to play through Blood Moon. And we just have a lot of total mana producing things in in our deck. Like our deck has 22 lands, plus birds, plus cobra, plus oath. So we play through uh, resource disruption pretty well. I would like to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody that's hanging out here tonight. If you're new, my name is Jeff Hoagland. I'm a full-time content producer and TCG player here on Twitch. Um, if you are enjoying my content, uh, please consider subscribing on Twitch. My subscribers are the reason I'm able to do what I do as often as I do it. If you're one of the many people in the world who has Amazon Prime, if you link that to your Twitch account, you'll get Twitch Prime for free. It's included in there. You don't pay anything extra. And Twitch Prime gives you a free channel subscription to a channel of your choice every single month. That also doesn't cost you anything, and it still supports my content here. You can also support my stuff by supporting my sponsors. MTGOTraders.com would love to buy and sell some magic online cards with you. And if you use code Hoagland PayPal at checkout with them, you'll save 8% on your singles orders there. Uh, CoolStuffInc.com buys and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code Jeff5, you can save 5% on magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. Uh, InkedGaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience. Using code Jeff12, you can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, and bags with them. And finally, this stream is made possible by viewers like Anironix at you. If you are new, please make sure you hit that follow button at the very least if you're enjoying the stream. That one doesn't cost you anything. It lets you know when I go live and with what if you enable notifications. Um, I always try and put the names of the decks that we're planning to play on a given stream in the deck title so you can kind of get an idea of what we're going to be playing that day. And if you can't catch it live, be sure to check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Jeff Hoagland. Um, all my stuff gets archived there and I break them up by deck so you can watch just the stuff that you care about on that. Speaking of archives, did I upload those last two? I would 
Love to play first. Great Hearthstone hand. Bad, bad magic hand. Need, need some resources in this game. One land, five and six drops. Yep. Time to time to throw that back and try again. This is the best of the hands we've looked at this game. Fetch land on top, hopefully. I'm gonna take an oath of Nissa. That technically gives us three shots at another land, right? Go away, Sun Titan. Yeah, I think um, while Sun Titan is really sweet, I think that's one of the cards that I ultimately ended up trimming from my final variation of this deck because while it's sweet and powerful, it's just such a clunky top deck. And there, there's so many aggressive decks in modern right now that the Sun Titan's just gonna rot in your hand while you die in a lot of matches. I think if you want it, you probably wanna board it, but honestly, I'm not even sure you want it at all. Deck has no chads. And therefore impossible to be sweet. Ooh, my Cobra might live. That's exciting. Ooh, Jun Jun's a hard matchup for this deck. Fetch land. Yes! Yes! Remember when we were complaining about this, Sun Titan? I take back all of the bad things I said about you, Sun Titan. Come into play on turn three. Come into play on turn three, Sun Titan. Empower me! All right. All righty. Smells like a Sun Titan. The info on donation decks can be found here. Always feel free to give that a read. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a line and I'm always happy to answer. This is like Tron, right? Mold a, mold a five and then have a turn three six drop. All right, well, now that he, Lotus Cobra's already done its busted thing, I'm going to go and attack with it. <laughs> trade? Question mark? Nope, no trade? Weird. Ooh. Ooh. Liliana the Last Hope. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. But God help you if you put a batter skill, right? Swag Dad here is pretty good against... Uh, Swag Dad's pretty good against Jun too. That's awkward. Poor Swaggerson. Never stood a chance. Get back, Macobra. I'm gonna hold on to this for now. They have another K command, it's whatever. Sure. Look at the wee little baby blood braid elf. Dealer's choice. Tilt. Remember when BBE was so good it got bad? <laughs> you know, one of their three cards, Liliana Last Hope, which does read by Bloodbraid Elf, which is kind of scary. The, co the Cobra has had a tough life. He's, he's definitely had better days. So Bob's coming back as a chump blocker here probably. Nope, just got Blood Braid. They have a different jump blocker. They do. So 
So I'm going to ship all of these into Liliana here. They get to eat this. I guess maybe I shouldn't attack with this. And I could let them... Because like if they want to sack the Tarmogoyf to let this live, that's fine. Yeah, that probably would have been fine. Yeah, if we had a Panglacial where we'd be pretty close to getting it, right? We'd have been able to get it that turn, right? Oh no! Not my Sun Titan funsies! Oh, I was so excited about our mulligan to five chat. Hey, Scott, thanks for the bits. I don't think this matchup is amazing for us, but we've definitely drawn significantly below average this game, right? We had two spells that didn't make mana. We kept a one-lander this game, right? This was the game we kept a one-lander. And we had to discard the Thrag Tusk. I guess we're not just dead yet, but we're definitely getting there. <sighs> They're also flooding, but like, you know, they've drawn some spells. You want to crack Flooded Strand to thin at end of turn? Yeah, they have Ravine. Yeah, we're flooding and we haven't had any of our canopies. Like, there's two Horizon canopies in our deck. And they drew Terminate. All right. Comes the beats. <laughs> it's games like this that make me glad that I stream because like that's one of those games where like you hear your friend talk about that game and you're like, shut up, nobody's that unlucky. You didn't mulligan to five, keep a one lander and then draw straight lands for nine turns. That's, that's unreasonable. It's like, well, no, there's a video of me doing it. It's actually what happened. Glenn's actually okay here. We cut the birds because this is an attrition based matchup. I didn't used to be a fan of Obsidian and Baloth against Jund, even though they have Liliana, but now that they have Bloodbraid Elf, Obsidian and Baloth's body is more relevant, which is nice. This is a donation deck list, Innocent Smith. You can think of the corner calling as just like a fifth tutor. They don't let us play five Eldritch Evolutions. Yeah, I just don't like mulliganing against the discard attrition deck. I think this is like a, we're not excited, but we're keeping it. It's seven o'clock. Should I, is that, is that match, is that game an excuse to drink? Should I go get, should I go get an alcohol? Is that, that, that's like a good response to that last game, right? Response, I would like an alcohol. I 
I'm not gonna get drunk. There's only two drinks upstairs. The hard liquor that we bought for Matt, it is, I only, I basically only drink alcohol that's fruity and delicious. One alcohol, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a drink. It's a line on how many spells we draw this match. I wonder, I wonder if there's an argument for playing Engineered Explosives out last turn. Probably on two. Their deck's full of two drops. Nine times out of 10, we're putting this card on two in this matchup. When I drink at work, I get mandatory vacation. shot for every land run i would die chat yeah i think this this build of this deck is pretty bad against jund you just like you have so many cards that are just like individually weak like even even sahili ray is a card that just like on an individual power level isn't particularly high right like she needs a creature in play in order to generate value I mean, it's people that have watched the stream before. That's, you know, it's very easy for them to like know what I'm drinking because basically you should assume if like a 40 year old woman would find it delicious, I would find it delicious. Has to be, has to be fruity and delicious for me to drink it. Oh yeah. Take my spells. Take my spells. Going on user prime. I guess I bin this land and then EE -E the Lily on the next turn, right? There's a chocolate milkshake alcohol? That sounds amazing. <laughs> Why was I not made aware that there's a chocolate milkshake alcohol, Kletz? I feel like, I feel like you've let me down. I mean, chocolate milkshakes are excellent. Chocolate milkshakes are excellent. Cascade and yes, Inquisition. This is my five drop and it's amazing. I don't, I wanted to blow the engineered explosives up there rather than play the Sigarda even though they can't edict me because if they, I didn't want to give them a window to kill this and kill this and keep their Liliana around. All right. 
Looking for like a fetch land here, right? That's pretty good too. That'll, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Pick it up. No, they can't. I have hex proof, so they can't say you sacrifice a creature. So they can't target me to make me sacrifice. You and humans you control have hex proof because I'm human. Do I want to just play this bell off? Yeah, I think I do, right? Yeah, just smashy smashy. This Sigarda is much better against, she is worse against Jund in most ways, but she's better, she's a card that can come in against Storm. She's a card that's good against Burn. Right. Well, now I just attack with this. Exile a card from your graveyard, create a 1 1 white human. So I can attack with this, and she just fogs Tarmogoyf like indefinitely, right? Which is nice. We're clawing our way back in here, slow and steady. Not having birds in our deck to draw is a big help. I think I want to just make two 1 1s this turn. Probably void the engineered explosives to take the artifact away from this. Shock this, return blood braid, sure. Okay, this is only my graveyard, right? Exile card, yep. Hey, yellow hat. Thank you for the host to see if I appreciate that. Welcome to folks from over from the deceased channel. Just hanging out, playing some modern tonight like we do. They have another bolt that could kill the Sigarda here. They can't make me discard. I have hexproof from Sigarda. Making me, making me discard is not an option. They're dead on board if they attack, right? Opponent concedes when I show them I know the text on my Sigarda. He's exile any card, right? Exile a card from your graveyard. Yeah, any card. May our memes be our dreams in Milwaukee. Thank you for the 313 subscription, Jay Shepard. I appreciate that. As always, subs are the best way you can support what I do here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I think, I think Acidic Slime is just too slow and clunky. The Death Touch is okay, but like every five drop you play in your deck has a real cost. See, it is great. And by great, I mean these cards could be anything. What's not to love? Yeah, yeah I, th I think Sigarda is going to be replaced with the new Angel when it comes out, but Sigarda serves her purpose. Definitely, definitely has a purpose. In for another Voice of Resurgence. Voice is one of our better cards in this matchup, just grinds really well, doesn't care about removal. This card's much worse than Ponder Rogue. You've cast Ponder, this card is significantly worse. Fuck! Oh. 
That's really frustrating. Magic Online is so slow and laggy. I have six on their turn, and apparently it double tapped. I just can't win that game on the draw in doing that. It's unfortunate. They played their Bob in F6, and I tapped my F6 in response, and apparently it stuck or double registered or whatever. This is the only application that that ever happens in, though, so weird. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of this archetype in general. Um, we were definitely in that third game against Jund. Um, so, like, that game could have gone either way, but I think the first two matches that we played in that league kind of showcase, like, why I moved away from playing this deck. It's just very... Actually, it could be... Yeah, we're using over 2 gigs of RAM. That certainly doesn't help. Magic Online is very slow and clunky when it gets over 2 gigs of RAM. Um, I just feel like this deck's a little bit... It's it's better against the unfair decks than a lot of, like, the Kiki Court style decks, but it's just so much worse against the fair decks. And, like, not having removal in your deck makes you pretty much a dog to the aggressive decks like humans this deck's probably not very good against the hollowed one deck either just because it doesn't have creatures that can block hollowed ones and gourmet anglers particularly well and also doesn't have ways to take them off the table we have like one reflector mage that's okay but the rest of the deck is just kind of awkward like there's all these cards up here that just cost so much mana and sahili while being a neat combo piece just like both our combo pieces are, like, much worse than Restoration Angel are. So, I don't think... This isn't a deck that I'm a huge fan of right now. So, I think if I, if I was interested in playing a creature combo deck in the format, I would look into either a Vizier combo deck or, like, the Bant Cord or the Teamer Kiki deck that we've been playing on stream. I think all of those are a little bit, a little bit more streamlined and efficient than what this deck is trying to execute. All right. <clears throat> 